ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Cogulals Nation. My name is Secret Agent Eeks and the Cogulals. I'm the founder and the director of the Cogulals Industry Spy Network and the Cogulals Nation. I'm going to be doing another Pokemon Nuzlocke. This time I'll be playing Pokemon Blue. Last time I did this was almost two years ago. Or was it almost a year ago? Eh. I'll just say it's been about a year and a half ago. I don't know exactly how long ago. This was in January of 2021 when I've last done a Nuzlocke. Or was it 22? I, I forget. Anyway, basically what I'm going to be doing is a specialized challenge to challenge my Pokemon playing ability. If you want to see what that was like previously, you can take a look at my series, I think the Adventures of Doig Season 1 which was a Pokemon Red playthrough, which ended in failure by episode 6. If you want to see how bad I failed, just feel free to watch that series. I'll have it linked to the top right hand corner of your screen, or I'll have the editor link it below. That said, we're going to get straight into it here. And I'm going to be continuing with a new game. And I did have another game, reason being was because I had an attempt fail on me. So obviously, I'll still be doing the same thing as per the usual. For anybody that plays Pokemon, I'm going to be playing all the OG games. Uh, we're going to go new name, and I'll put in Doig, since this is the Adventures of Doig series. And we will be shrinking down to this size in order to spawn in my bedroom playing on an SNES or in Japan it'd be known as a Super Famicom. Up here is my PC as well and the PCs are going to have quite the purpose in future games and in this game as well. This is where you store Pokemon. Now hold it right there cowboy. I did not have a good chance to explain the rules up front and in clear detail, which I will be doing now for those of you that are new to Nuzlocke's. The first mandatory rule is that I can only catch a Pokemon, one Pokemon, for every new route and new area in which I discover in this game. And if that encounter has a Pokemon that dies during battle or escapes, that means I do not get to catch another Pokemon and I have to move on to a different area if I want to catch a new one. Every Pokemon caught will be nicknamed so that I can have a sentimental value towards it. It's going to be a little bit hard to deal with. And by the same token, if a Pokemon faints in battle, it is classified as a dead Pokemon. And I have to place it in the PC box or release it to the wild, never to be seen again. Three optional rules will also be added to this Pokemon Blue Nuzlocke. The challenge does not officially start until I get Pokeballs for the first time. In this case, I have to buy the Pokeballs myself. HM Slaves, Shinies, and Legendaries will, in fact, be caught regardless of Rule 1, regardless if I had already caught a Pokemon in that area or not. Though, I will not be using the Legendaries. And Finally, the dupes clause is in effect. The dupes clause basically states that if I have a species of Pokemon and I'm in a new area, that species happens to be my encounter, it doesn't count and I can either kill it or skip it and catch a Pokemon I had not caught as of yet at that time. Hopefully all of these rules are now clear and fresh into your mind. If you need a refresher, you can always check the description below it will have the rules clearly stated and written by my editor. But I hope you enjoy and understand this Pokemon Blue Nuzlocke. Peace. So, now... Okay, that's just my PC. Anyway, we're gonna head up here real quick. Professor Oak is going to stop us. And... He'll be coming with us shortly. Alright, so we have this done and dusted. This is Pokemon Green, so I am going to be choosing this one, which will be Bulbasaur. This one in the middle is going to be Squirtle, 
And this one on the left hand side is going to be Charmander. But I am going to be bringing up Bulbasaur. Yes, we'll grab Bulbasaur. And I will be nicknaming him. I already gave him a nickname in the attempt I had made. And we'll see what we can do with it. We'll do Ivy Bulb. There it is. Done. And that means Jack will be grabbing the Charmander. So now I'm going to try to leave, but Jack is going to stop me. And I am immediately forced into a trainer battle with Jack. So we're going to send out a Charmander. I will send out Ivy Bulb. And then we will immediately tackle. He's going to scratch me up pretty good. I'll use a tackle as well. Because the Charmander is already faster, it would only be fair that I do some about this. Uh, let's do a tackle. Man, he's going to scratch me up good. Growl. He's going to scratch me again. He's going to scratch me again, and I'm down. That was kind of stupid. But usually what would happen is, if I'm forced into a Pokemon battle like that, uh, I would have to pay. But I don't have anything right now. And by the way, just to confirm, Ivy Bull will be at full level. So I will be going through here shortly. I'll go into Route 1, I hadn't gotten Pokeballs yet. This guy over here works at the Pokemart. So we're going to get a potion here shortly. We're going to be doing some of the same things I had done in uh, my Pokemon Red playthrough. There we go. I'll fight as well, because I might, I might as well fight. So we're going to do this Pidgey. Alright, we're going to we'll immediately growl, and I am faster than, than this Pidgey. He's going to gust me. Not great. We're going to do another growl gonna use another gust against me third growl usually four growls will do it for me another growl this attack is gonna fall another gust and then I will tackle him he's gonna use gust again I will run if need be but I might not be in need of doing that there we go. I'm gonna tackle. And... Oh, come on. Are you kidding me? And done. Done and dusted. Crit. 23 EXP. Good. So I will be headed over to Viridian City. I'll head immediately into the Pokemon Center. This is where we're gonna have to heal our Pokemon here shortly. And we're going to have to do this a lot. And I do mean a lot. So I'll get out of the Pokemon Center. And then I will need to go up to the Pokemart here. Alright, so this is Professor Oak's parcel. So I'll have to head back. But I am going to head back the old-fashioned way. Because I also do want to get into a battle as well. I could definitely toughen this thing up a bit. And I'm getting pretty lucky. I don't know why that is. I'm getting pretty lucky. There we go, yes. And it will be a Rattata. Alright, so I will immediately start growling after he tackles me. You missed? Good. I'm gonna growl again. Third growl. And he missed again. I think there's an evasive stat. He's going to use a Tail Whip against me. My defense is going to fall a bit, but that's fine. He's going to tackle me. Crit? Not great. 
Yes. Okay, good. So I have a chance here. He's gonna whip again, but he doesn't realize that, well, he's done. Yes, level 6. Fantastic. Then go through the tall grass. Okay, so we're gonna get out of here. I'll go up here to Jack's place. And then... Get the town map from Daisy. There we go. Much appreciated. Let's get the heck out of here. And we will immediately be forced into another battle. This time with a Pidgey. I got 13. I should be okay. I am going to tackle him real quick. He's going to use a gust against me. Alright, so let's grab that potion. That will come in handy. Another gust? That's fine. Oops, I don't want that. We're going to use a gust. We're going to tackle him again. Okay, he's four shot. Alright, I need to be careful here. And done. 23 EXP. And I get into another battle almost immediately. This time with a Rattata. No. Alright, Ivy Bulb, run. Yeah, I do not want to risk it right now. I will head up here to the Pokemart. Because there is another rule that is in effect. And I'm going to be buying me not that many. We'll buy five Pokeballs. And I don't have any potions here. We're gonna do 10 Pokeballs. There we go. So, now that I have Pokeballs, that means I will be starting the challenge officially. And then I'll go over here. Yes! Which one? It's gonna be a Pidgey. Fine by me. Luckily on Route 1. So, in this case, I'm going to tackle. I'm gonna do a tackle. I'm gonna gust me, that's fine. And then we're going to do another tackle. Yes. That's what I want. That's not what I want. Pokeball. Has to be pretty low health to do it. Yes. Caught. And we will be giving it a nickname as per the Nuzlocke rules. And I'll name this one Sandy. Not that Sandy, editor. He likes to play tricks with me, so what? Anyway, I'm going to head back up here, and I'm going to be training Sandy quite a bit. And the next thing I'm going to do, I will be switching Sandy with Ivy Bulb. And the reason for that is I kind of have to train Sandy. Especially since I'm going to have to do the Sand Attack at level 4, if I'm not mistaken. This is a level 2 Pidgey though, so that's not great. And this is how I'm going to have to do it. Alright, Sandy. We're going to do a gust. Tail whip. Are you kidding me? Gust him. Gust this sucker. Another tail whip? Why? Crit. Yes. Tail whip? Pfft, please. Get him. Get him out of here. Another tail whip? <laughs> You're done. You're done, buddy. There you go. Watch, this is a Pidgey. It's not a Pidgey, it's another Rattata. Alright. Let's see how that's gonna go. More tail whips. More tail whips. And this is a level 3 Rattata as well. This sucker's a 4 shot. He's gonna tackle me a bit. Oh my god! <laughs> no! Alright, Ivy Bulb, finish this guy off. Ah. 
They'll tank it. That's fine. What was that? What was that? Alright, uh, get out of here. Oh. That would have been quite the spectacle. I, how do how do I even describe this? I guess I just let it speak for itself, honestly. That's fine. And we'll smack you to the ground. Slap you upside the head. There we go. Ivy Bulb is now level 7. And has Leech Seed. That's gonna be important indeed. The only issue I have, though, has to do with Sandy the Pidgey. Yeah. Pretty stupid, I know. Looks like this training is not going to be done for a little while, as I'll have to continue the grind. But that being said, I am out of time for today's episode. Thank you, and good night.